This morning in Yellowstone National Park, biologists are baiting grizzly bears in the name of science. The U.S. Geological Survey and the National Park Service are running the two-month survey to capture and monitor the large creatures under the Endangered Species Act. There's some data that scientists can only get when they get up close and personal with a grizzly bear. Grizzly bears became protected as a threatened species in 1975 when they were almost wiped out. As of 2021, it's estimated about 1,000 remain in Greater Yellowstone. Wildlife experts say this monitoring is critical to the species' ongoing recovery. If we find grizzly bears that aren't doing so well, that means that probably several things in the ecosystem are really off balance and the ecosystem needs some improvement. On the flip side, finding healthy bears, especially young bears, mothers of um, breeding age, that kind of thing, suggests that the population is doing great. And so all this information, whether it's good or bad, can help biologists give recommendations for conservation. Large cage-like traps will be set with natural food sources like deer and elk to lure the bears inside. Then biologists will collect various data points like age, gender, and DNA to gauge the overall health of the grizzly bear population. Yellowstone will shut down areas of the park where field captures are underway, with bright warning signs alerting the public to stay away for their safety and the safety of the bears. Humans have long had a fascination and sometimes healthy fear of grizzly bears. Last month on a hiking trail just west of Yellowstone, 48-year-old Amy Adamson was killed by a grizzly bear. Experts believe she was attacked after crossing paths with a mother and her cubs. And just weeks ago, this video of a crowd of tourists in Yellowstone surrounding a group of bears to take photos, raising concern. Experts say tragic incidents and close calls like these are just a reminder to stay at least 100 yards away from wild animals. Yellowstone is the oldest national park in the U.S. Nearly a million people visited in July alone. Some credit the increased popularity and visibility of the park to the hit TV show Yellowstone. The national park and its wildlife are heavily featured. The best way to take care of the environment is to respect the environment, and that means all creatures that live within it. No matter what the wild animal is, give it the space it needs, and that is a really good part of being a good environmentalist, is respecting wildlife. Man, so Kaylee, how many bears are they actually expected to capture and study? Yeah, so it's actually hard to say. They're hoping to study as many bears as they can in this two-month period. Experts say, though, they could gather quite a bit of helpful data from even just one bear. Any data is better than no data mm. at all. And trends they see in just a few bears after getting so up close and personal with them can lead to scientific conclusions about the larger population that could help with conservation efforts and policy decisions, guys. It's so incredible to see. Kaylee, thank you. Yes. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.